Good day. Welcome to Customer Effects Training Webinars. My name is Dale Richter, and today we're going to be talking about using the Query Builder and creating an ad hoc group. And once we create that ad hoc, ad hoc group, we'll also look at how to distinguish between the different types of groups. So not only can we create an ad hoc group, we can also create a group with conditions. Once they're both created, they look very similar on the tabs. But I'll show you the way that we can tell the difference between the two. Now why don't you hold on just a second while I switch over to my web client and we'll take a look. Thanks for joining me today. Okay, so here we are. I'm in my web client on the cloud right now. And so we're going to look at building a new group. Uh, so I'm just going to add a group here. So our scenario is, is that we're going to build a group of everyone in Texas uh, that is an active contact. However, we don't want a few of those contacts in our group. So first I'm going to build a group uh, based on conditions. And then from that group, I'm going to be uh, create an ad hoc group so that I'm able to delete at random uh, contacts that I want to delete from that group. So here my query builder has opened up and I'm just going to call this group um, Active Texas Contacts. And in my conditions then, in the contact table, I will set the status or choose the status. Double click on that and the status needs to be equal to active. And my second criteria then from the address table is that the state needs to be equal to TX or Texas. I'll take off the case sensitive there and click on OK. So there's my two criteria. I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And here's my new group, uh, Active Texas Contacts, of which I have 39 contacts in there. So now I have the group that I want, but let's say randomly I wanted to delete uh, Matt Deaton. Well, because this is built on conditions, I'm unable to just randomly delete any contact. So what I'm going to do here is holding down my shift key, I'm going to highlight the first contact. Oops, I hyperlinked over to him. I didn't really want to do that. So let's uh, close that. Let's get back to my list view here. I'm going to highlight the first one, hold down my shift key, scroll down to my last one in the group, highlight that one. And you see that it highlights the entire group. So now I'm just going to right click. Oops, so I'm going to click on Save Records as a group. I'll call that group um, Texas. active and click on OK. So from my group based on conditions I've chosen all those contacts and created a group called Texas Active that is an ad hoc group. Now because this is an ad hoc group I now can go to that Matt Deaton, highlight that record right click and remove from the group and he's gone from that group. I can go down to Terry Malone just randomly and highlight that record right click and remove from group. So with an ad hoc group, I'm able to remove any records randomly, whereas with a group with conditions, I'm not able to do that. So now I have just 37 records in this group. Um, that's what I wanted for this group. And I'm able to set that now with my Texas active group. OK, so now down the road, when we look at these groups, how can we tell the difference um, from this Texas active group from any one of these other specific groups, whether it's an ad hoc group or not. Um, so I'm just going to highlight my group here. I can right click on it and edit. 
Now when I edit that group, it's going to bring up the Query Builder. And when it brings up that Query Builder, I'm going to look down at the tabs at the bottom of that screen. Okay, so I brought up my Query Builder here. At the bottom of the screen here, I'm going to look and I see that I do not have a Conditions tab. So that's what will tell me right away when the Conditions tab is missing that this is an ad hoc group. Let's go look at another one. So I'll cancel this Query Builder here and I'm going to go look at a My Contacts tab. In My Contacts, again, I'll just right click, Edit. When it brings up the Query Builder, now I see that I have a Conditions tab. And of course, I could always go look at the conditions uh, for that tab to see how that group was built. But that's going to be your telltale sign that this is a group built on conditions versus an ad hoc group. Always watch for that conditions tab. So again, just to review what we've done here is I went in and built a group of all my active Texas contacts. And once I did that, I went in and built an ad hoc group from the conditions group so that I was able to randomly delete contacts at will there. I've heard that question uh, again and again that they'd like to be able to delete just this contact or that contact for some specific reason and they couldn't do that on a group built by conditions. So that's how I'd do it. I'd build a group on conditions first then build an ad hoc group from that and then you're able to delete uh, any specific records that you want to. So this webinar has been about using the Query Builder and creating an ad hoc group and then distinguishing the type of existing groups by looking for the Conditions tab. I want to thank you all for joining me this afternoon and have a great day.